focus. Click the links for Odyssey, bitch. You uh, join, I don't know if you can join this channel, but you can join the other YouTube channel for as long as, as long as I'm allowed on YouTube, which probably won't be forever. Or uh, support channel on Coffee, Cash App, Crypto, the various other links. Be sure to join the Telegram and the Gab. That is a excellent way to keep in touch as we respawn across platforms. And you never know. In the future, we may need to keep in touch. So these are the two globalists who are in charge or or advocating um, for to have less parental influence in your education because they want to brainwash kids. It's kind of what it boils down to. And ultimately at one end of the spectrum you have homeschooling being the final the final um decision to this kind of thing uh, to what they're doing to kids in schools is uh, this I can make an hour long video about the, the anti-white brainwashing the propaganda from these globalists what they're teaching kids um, and to be fair to the kids it's like there's we're we're influencing them also I mean uh, those of us on the right in some regards because they have social media you know also so that, yeah you've got kids who are like pretty pretty well propagandized with globalist um, subverting parasites like these at a young age, but then once they once they kind of start getting on the internet, I don't know when kids are getting on the internet these days. It's like they're finding um, the alt community who's saying like, oh yeah, these are these are globalists, these are evil evil people. They're pushing all this anti white propaganda, and and you know we try to try to pull them out of try to save them from this uh, globalist propaganda. So on one end of the spectrum you got homeschooling, and on the other end of the spectrum you have these government schools which are controlled by the worst people on earth. I mean, these people are biblically evil evil people. This is Edelman and uh, Weingarten. So they're globalists who are pushing this narrative that white parents, the people of the light, people of European descent, are extremists for not wanting anti-white brainwashing propaganda taught to their kids. The the parents who want to control their kids' edu- I think parents should have control of their kids' education 100%. Homeschooling is going to be the win. Um, really, though, to teach one or two or three kids, where well, you can teach six kids as, as a little bit, and not as easily as teaching two, but you know what I'm saying. It's like you can have a living room, and you're going to have a little neighborhood school where you're teaching kids the basic and the more based interpretation of events. No matter how rough you are your first year, and you might be a little bit rough, you're going to be better than what is being taught in the schools. And there's an efficiency to it, too. It's like the kids are in school for how many hours a day. There's so much wasted time going on in school. It's not exactly... You could you could take an hour out of the, the teaching curriculum just in saved efficiency and instead of being in school from, you know, 8 to 3 or whatever. It's like, honestly, you'd be there. At, you'd be there probably an hour less at, at homeschooling just because there's not a tiny school of like less than less than like 10 kids there's so much less inefficiency with uh distractions from kids who don't really want to be there it depends what kind of school district you're in also but the thing is you've got teachers who are who are teaching um all the anti-white propaganda all the crt the, the pronouns the um the european person bad and and you know no one else did anything evil well you can skip all that all the all the insane uh propaganda to use to try to instill some kind of anti-euro um narrative you don't have to teach any of that you can teach history it's like oh you're not going to teach them an honest version of history well hey man here's the thing with history the victor writes the history what is truth well that's a fundamental question you're gonna have to go to plato or aristotle or something people have been arguing about that um for as long as they've been able to argue Obviously, it's going to be open to an interpretation, and there's a, you know there's there can be a base interpretation of it, which I think is best because I think nationalism, the concept of nationalism, tribalism, ethno nationalism, whatever you want to call it, um, is kind of the human condition for the past. And people hear that and they think they have visions of you know people marching and and you know doing Roman salutes and stuff. I don't necessarily mean that, but I mean there, it has a long history of you're based on the family core first, and then the extended family, and then your greater blood family. It's like that's natural. That's how humans evolved. And this latest push since World War II of globalism, and I know I keep bringing everything back to this concepts of nationalism versus globalism. 
because I do think it is the nucleus of this argument. You have globalists like Edelman and Weingarten or Levin, who's the, uh, the health and human services person, who are trying to do these things to push globalism, which is destruction of nationalism, destruction of the nation, destruction of the people through many various means. But by getting kids from like age 5 to 15 is probably the peak um, indoctrination age. So the goal is uh, you got to get them out of these kind of schools and teach them in a small home school and it doesn't matter how bad you are. How good you are, it's just the first year, it's going to be rough and then after that you'll be better. Um, you couldn't you couldn't do worse than what they're teaching kids. The, the, the stuff they're teaching kids is insane, insane about um, CRT is is one thing that's anti whiteism, but then there's also the stuff that is encouraging kids to sterilize and mutilate themselves. The goal of this all along is to decrease um, uh, people of European descent to decrease their birth rates. And you think, what do you mean? It, it kind of it's a stochastic. It applies to everyone. It's like, it's no, it doesn't, it doesn't resonate yet. Yeah, the radio, the signal goes out every, everywhere. But if you look at the advertising, it's like, they, they keep telling you to have, you know, less kids, less kids. And they always show blonde kids. Look, what do you think that is? Why do you think that is? Like, you you got to know what's going on with that. If, if you don't, you can jump into telegram. Um, it resonates with everybody. The, 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 the frequency goes out, out to, to everybody, but only certain people are picking up on it, which is why it, which is what they want. They want they don't want to lower birth rates across the board. They want to lower certain birth rates. People who look like you and I is the goal of all this kind of stuff. So ultimately, you know, if you don't sit on city councils and school boards and take a active, like you ever, I remember growing up, I always noticed like left wing people were way more active at the local political level, super, super active. And, um, you know, the other people just weren't. And I realized like, it's, it's just game theory. If you don't play the game and advocate very zealously, zealously and vigorously for your interests, um, you'll be run over by people who are advocating for their interests. If you want to help that um, advocacy that I'm trying to do on Odyssey, BitChute, Telegram, and various other platforms, I was doing it on Twitter until I was kicked off. I've got like a thousand subs, 1,100 subs in three days. It's amazing. Uh, you can support me on Coffee with a small donation so I can um, help get the message out. Or you can join the Telegram. You can do a lot of stuff. But you gotta got to start networking within your local geography, too, to kind of spread this message of... My point was, if you don't take part in school boards and city councils, if you don't take part in local community... It will be taken over by the worst people. You have people sitting on school boards that go like, you don't even have kids, Edelman and Weingarten. Why are you why are you sitting on some school board? You don't even have kids. It's like, oh, I just want to take care of charge of the kids' education. It's like, but you don't have kids. Not only not have kids, you don't have kids in the district. Because they're very bad people. They know the power of propaganda. It's like propaganda has can be a neutral term too. From age five to fifteen. Um, that kind of sets the mold for kids. And, and don't get me wrong, it's like they tried to do that when I was a kid a very long time ago. And then it, as I got a little older and other people, other kids got older, it's like you start to really look at your teachers and realize like they're not as smart as you think they are, um, as you thought they were. I mean, to, to teach a kid, you just have to know the material ahead of the kid. Um, and they're left wing. They're coming from a left wing perspective. And then you hit 18, you, you know, back in the day, we listened to talk radio and it kind of pull you to the right. Or, you know, introduce a different perspective back in the days of Pat Buchanan uh, or Rush Limbaugh. Nowadays, uh, there's probably still radio going on. I don't know if anyone will listen to it. But nowadays, there's obviously the Internet. There's stuff like this. And there's various other podcasts, right-wing podcasts, right-wing Odyssey, Bitch Shoot channels, that kind of stuff. Gab, 4chan. And there's even a lot of base people on Twitter. I don't know how they survive. They keep respawning. Um, so we're able to spread the message that way. But um, if you got kids can I say this? I don't know what I can, how much I can say it nine minutes in. If you got kids homeschooling kids, like yeah, there's a, the homeschools of the West or the school of the West. It's something. So I don't, I don't know anything about it. I've just heard about it. It's like, I think it's a right wing school. I think, um, if you you're homeschooling kids from a base perspective, like then the nation would turn to the right within a generation and you, you would increase white birth rates, which is, uh, you got to get your kids out of school one way or the other. Um, open up small schools. Find it. Find a lady who's on the right. She's smart, or even if she's just willing to be neutral. And I say, listen, we can pay you, um, and you can you can teach like a half a dozen kids 
or maybe even a few more in your living room, and we can just pay you what we would have been paying the private schools or the government schools, because private schools are woke, too. There's a lot of private schools that are woke. The Catholic schools a little bit less, but some of them are woke also. I mean, the best is going to be based homeschooling. Like, we can, we can pay you whatever we were paying them. Um, and, yeah, first year is going to be rough. It's like doing anything. It's, it's going to be rough, but you'd be able to do it better and raise kids who are have a more well-balanced perspective on, listen, European people are awesome. They didn't do anything anyone else didn't do. Um, or other people are doing bad things right now, and, and you can educate those kids on just, you know, a realistic, and even, even if, listen, even if you're not based, even if you're somewhat more moderate, libertarian, liberal, whatever, you, you're not going to be as insane as these people who are teaching pronouns. Like, pronouns and, and anti-whiteism has no part in a child's education. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. If you want to teach kids about the slave trade, then, you know, you're going to have to teach them whose names was on the ships, my ninjas. You have to teach them all of the Barbary slave trade, the Marines. Um, you know, what do you think the, the Marines got their song from? Um, the, the, that group from the Middle East controlled that, uh, that, that industry. Um, and that industry is actually active in the Middle East and Africa today. And nobody gives a shit because it's not white people doing it. So you can, you can teach kids that a whole bunch of hypocrisy that's going on right now. And within a generation, those kids, you're going to have a, a large percentage of them are going to be based. They're going to, they're going to know what's going on. In the, they're, they're going to know the way of the world. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Please support our channel on coffee if you can with a small donation. Or you can support almost for free on Odyssey with a tiny crypto donation. Um, Odyssey's a trip. If you're not signed in and you watch a video, then because the advertising plays out, the the view the maker of the video gets a tiny donation or if you are sub to Odyssey uh, you can they give you crypto it's like it's fractions of a penny but it all adds up and it helps discovery it's a it's a lot I can discuss it with if you want to get your your Odyssey channel off the ground anyway like comment subscribe I'll see you guys all next episode.